All right, whether you're buying, selling, or investing in real estate, and you're looking at a place to put your money or look at a place to move to, and you want a place where there's freedoms, then you might want to know a little bit about the Oklahoma City Metro real estate market. And that's what today's video is about. So every month I come up, I give you the new market data so you can make a decision on where you want to live, where you want to invest. And if you got a property to sell too, you need to know your numbers. The more knowledge you know about anything, the easier that task is to complete, i.e. investing, selling, or buying real estate. So let's go ahead and jump into the numbers. So this is on a 12-month rolling average, 12-month rolling average, and it's going back five years. But the 12-month rolling average, this data right here is year-over-year -year data. So year-over-year -year data, you can see that Oklahoma City had a 5.1% increase year-over-year. -year. And this is straight from the MLS, guys. This is straight from the MLS. This isn't a third party. This is MLS data. Guthrie had a 14.4% increase. And you might be wondering, why, why is Guthrie having such a huge increase? I'm going to go with new construction. New construction. Because the bottom half of Guthrie, the bottom half-ish of Guthrie is Guthrie mailing address, but it's Edmond Schools. So you have lower taxes typically, lower taxes typically in Logan County than you do Oklahoma County. And it's still being in Edmond Schools, still being in Edmond Schools. Well, that, of course, is going to be a good place for developers to buy land and build new houses. Buy land and build new houses. So I'm guessing, complete guess, that it's based off a of new school, new uh, construction. That's why Guthrie is seeing such a huge increase because builders are buying land out there and building because it's still Edmond Schools, even though it's Guthrie mailing address. More had an 8.5% increase, 8.5% increase, and Edmond had a 7.3% increase year over year. So that's that's just the, the um, what is it called? The tip of the iceberg numbers. So let's jump into this a little bit. So when you're looking at investments, you want to know what the average rental is for an Oklahoma City property. Guys, it's going for $1,571 on the median and $1,570 on the average. So as you can see, the 1% rule doesn't really apply in the Oklahoma City metro area. And then, of course, it's, it's not applying in the Guthrie area with a 1350 on average rental rate with Guthrie having a $250,000, $285,000 sales price. Okay. I'm bringing this information to you so you can logically make decisions. If you're buying new construction, the 1% rule doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're getting rid of the extra cost of maintenance and the extra uh, cost of um, it, it raises your potential tenant and it lowers your maintenance cost. And therefore, it should also make your property management expenses less expensive too if you don't self-manage. When you're looking at more, you've got an average rental rate of $1,545 with an average sales price of $223,000. Okay? I've just shown you guys, don't look for the 1% rule unless you're out there pounding the phone, sending out 10,000 flyers a month to find that deal. On the market, you're not going to find that deal in Oklahoma anymore. $1,973 in Edmond, average rental rate, but average median sales price is $359,000. You get trade-offs. You get trade-offs. The higher quality property you buy, the lower your numbers are if you're looking at uh, trying to cover your debt load and still make cash flow. If you're a cash buyer, then you're looking more at the 50% rule. And I believe Oklahoma City, Metro Area, Edmond, Moore, Guthrie, I believe they can cover that on the 50% rule. So days on market are very important if you are a seller and as a buyer and an investor, you need to know the days on market. So uh, Oklahoma City has seen eight days on market on the median. Uh, Guthrie has seen 19 days on the market on the median. Moore has seen six days on the market on the median. And Edmond has seen nine days on the market on the median. Don't let this graph fool you guys. That's still no days on the market. Don't let this graph fool you, okay? realize that less than 20 days on the market is still unheard of. There's no inventory in the Oklahoma City metro area, guys. So good houses get bought right away. 
good houses still have multiple offers, even though it's August, even though we're going into the school time, even though people are not looking as heavy as they were back in the uh, April, May, June, July months, there's still no inventory. So if the house is priced right, it's going to sell right away. It's still going to sell right away. As you can see, month supply is 1.5 months in Oklahoma City. It is 2.5 months in Guthrie. Oh, that's getting sort of close. I, I A lot of people say six months inventory is a neutral market. I think nowadays and over the last 17 years, I think three months inventory is sort of a neutral market. Me personally, that's my thoughts. I know some people say six month rule. I, I think it's a three month rule. I think it's three. So Guthrie is getting to a place of high inventory, actually, in my mind. More 1.1 months and Edmond 1.8 months. So, guys, there's still no inventory like I'm talking about. There's still no inventory in the Oklahoma City metro area. And let's show you just how competitive competitive the market is by looking at shows to pending. So this is how many times a buyer goes in, looks how many buyers go in and look at a house and then it goes under contract. So in Oklahoma City, 6.1 buyers look at a house under contract. Guthrie. Four buyers, look at a house, under contract. More, 7.8 buyers, look at a house, under contract. Edmund, 5.6 buyers, look at a house, under contract. And a lot of you might be looking at this, and uh, some of the comments sometimes are, gosh, Josh, it says last month's numbers. Yes, that's how real estate works. August numbers won't come out till September. We'll do a September market update. It's looking at August numbers. It's historical data. This isn't the stock market. It doesn't. It doesn't update instantaneously. This isn't imaginative shares of a company. This is actual real property. There's a piece of floods floating around. <laughs> so that's your Oklahoma City market update, guys. I hope you found value in this video. Of course, when you're buying, selling, or investing in Oklahoma City, give us a call. Shoes text, send us an email. Contact info is down below. The team of agents that I work with and I are here to earn your business and help you with all your real estate needs in the Oklahoma City real estate area and the whole state of Oklahoma. And actually, EXP Realty is international, guys. So 26 countries, we can get you in contact with high producing agents who are going to take care of your investment, your purchase, or your sale, wherever you're at. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, giving it a thumbs up, and sharing it with all your friends. We also go over neighborhood tours. We go over city tours. We go over pros and cons. We go over all sorts of stuff that you'll enjoy about Oklahoma City metro area on this channel.